Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can turn your images on your website from JPEG, PNG or JPG to WebP using Lightspeed. It's a free cache plugin which you can download from the WordPress repository and I'll be showing you in this video how to do that with a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So once you're in your WP admin dashboard, what you want to do is head over to your plugins, add new, then head over to your search box and search for Lightspeed. Great. So the plugin that you want to install is this one by Lightspeed Technology. So head over and install it. And when it is installed, hit activate. So the next thing that you will see is some notifications about all QIC.cloud service queue have been cleared, purge all cache successfully, plugin activated. Great. We're not going to be touching it in this video. If you want to see this video, I'll be publishing it very soon on my channel. Or if you're watching it in the future, probably it will be popping up right now on your screen, whether it's on the right or on the left hand corner of your screen. So make sure you go and watch it the full tutorial how to configure the Lightspeed cache for your website. We're going to continue for this tutorial. So head over to Lightspeed right over here and let's head over to image optimization. So in this page, we're not going to do anything quite yet. But what you want to do is head over to image optimization settings and right over here, auto request Chrome. Chrome on WordPress is basically what handles things right on your server in very simple words. So make sure you enable it or turn it on and then just head over and save changes. So what we did right now is basically saying to the website, whenever there is anything that is running on the background, head over and turn it on. As you can see, automatically request optimization via Chrome job. And the next thing which is enabled right beneath it is out of pool Chrome. Make sure that it is also enabled and then optimize original images. Make sure all these three are enabled. And the next thing that you want to do is head over to Lightspeed cache and then head over to general. Right over here, I usually recommend you to automatically upgrade the this plugin, sometimes you forget, but it's a very good practice to keep it on. So there won't be any update that you would miss on your website. So head over and turn that on. One more thing that I would encourage you to do is also to enable the domain key. Just request the domain key and then it will refresh and then it will show you a little timer, which is after 14 minutes or 15 minutes. Usually it will auto generate unique code for your website and you'll be able to connect your website to the Qwik, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, dot cloud, which is basically helps you with the CDN via Lightspeed and so forth. I won't be diving in right now in more details, but just keep it in mind that it basically helps your website to load faster. It generates the WebP images and that is it. So let's enable it on and then save changes. And as you might be able to see, as I saved those changes, the auto generated key already generated as you might be able to see over here. And if you want to link it to the QIC Again, I hope I pronounced it correctly. Dot cloud, just hit this button and it will redirect you to the right place. So we have this key. And the next thing that you want to do is head back over to the image optimization tab right under the Lightspeed cache. So let's head over there. So the next thing that you want to do is head over to the image optimization summary. Right over here, what you want to do is simply click the send optimization request. So once you click the send images request, what it would do, it would basically compile a group of images and will optimize them in the cloud or in the server of the Lightspeed. Now, what we did here is usually you would need to do it by hand. In other words, you would have to come back to this page and refresh it and then send images and then pull the images and then send them and then pull them again. So what we did here in the last step or a few steps back is that we've enabled the Chrome job to do it automatically. As you might be able to see here, we have a little indication right over here under image information. It shows us the percentage of images being optimized. As you can see, right Right now stands on 2%. So if we'll refresh this page, if you're not familiar with Lightspeed, what usually you will have to do is head over to this little diamond right over here inside the top bar right over here, and you'll have to push the purge all. And as you've already cleared the cache, what now would happen is all the cache will be refreshed and then we'll cache all your website once more. Now we're still right under 2%, but give it a little time. It will run in the background. You don't need to do anything else. So for for this example, let's head over to the main page of the website and let's see if some of the images have been turned into WebP. Now, a very simple way to make sure or to check if your images have been turned into WebP 
tricky is basically to inspect them. And the way that you do that is basically clicking your mouse, your left key on your mouse and just inspecting it. So right key on your mouse and then hit inspect or F12. And it's basically will show you the elements or the HTML elements on your website. So as you might be able to see here, we have an image, which is a JPEG. Now it's still not WebP. Give it a few minutes and then you'll be able to see that it will turn this images into WebP. So I've tried to refresh it a few times and it still did not switch all the images. One thing to solve this is very simple. Just head over to the light speed settings. And what you want to do is head over to light speed cache and then image optimization. And then right over here, what you want to do, let's close this bar. And then right over here, we have the optimization tools. So you want to use optimized files because as you might be able to see, we have image information, we have it checked and everything has been optimized. So clearly nothing has been changed, but what we want to do is click this button and then we'll switch all those images, JPEG, PNG or whatever to WebP. So let's check it right now. Let's head over to this tab and then let's hit refresh or purge all. So it has been refreshed. Now let's check those images. Great. So let's inspect with this tool and right over here, we still have JPEG. Now, if the last option did not work and by that, I mean, if you went into the image optimization and then still use the optimized files, what you want to do is head over to the image optimization settings and then scroll to the bottom and then you will see this option WebP for extra source set. So you want to enable it and then save changes and then head back over to your front page or wherever you wanted to switch those images to WebP. So let's head back over to those images and then let's hit refresh, even though I still see here that we've already got it. So as you might be able to see, we have jpeg.webp. It did change those images. If this video helped you, I'll be really glad to if you hit this like button and subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any other videos, tutorials on WordPress, WooCommerce or Elementor. As usual, I'll be seeing you in the next one.